Welcome back here with Money, Money, Money. And we are discussing how to plan for your retirement. Do you have the adequate cover? Do you have the adequate resources that will help you lead the life you want to lead once you retire? We are in conversation with Mr. Anil Lobo of Mercer. So, Anil, we've discussed the basics of EPF and gratuity. And these are statutory things that an employer has to give you. But now there's a lot of talk about uh, whether one should look at NPS. And I think the biggest reason why people are really looking out for this scheme is the fact that it lets you have equity exposure. Up to 50% can be invested yes. in stocks, yes. which hopefully should generate or create better capital and then yes. more resources when you're redeeming. What are the key benefits of NPS? And do you think a switch from EPF to NPS is warranted, is, uh, is a good thing? Yes, I'll come to the first part. Mm -hmm. National Pension System, NPS, uh, with the finance bill and the last finance bill where 150,000 of contributions made by an individual is under ATC. Mm -hmm. In addition, there is a 50,000 bucket which is again under the uh, exempt for the individual. But mm -hmm. if there is a corporate model of NPS adopted by the employer and a platform is provided to the employees to subscribe to that, there is another 10% of the basic of the employee contributed by the employer which is totally tax free without any upper cap. Hmm. So the 10% of the basic plus the 150,000 including all other instruments coming under ATC, it could be life insurance, provident fund contributions made by an employee, all those comes with the 150,000 uh, rupees. Then additional contributions which employee makes to the NPS exclusively is tax free to him. Hmm. That's the 50,000 additional 50, yes. benefit which yes, is there. Yes. Yeah. So he yeah. has this 10 percent, that is one. Uh, coming to your second part, uh, when you say I, I, I belong to the school of thought where uh, all these products help an individual to create or preserve wealth until his retirement so that his living standards are not compromised post his retirement. Hmm. So may it be gratuity provident fund being statutory. Hmm. There is a group superannuation product. Unfortunately, group superannuation product uh, is a dying scheme. What sort of products are these, these superannuation group, group funds? Because you don't hear of them very widely. Yes. Uh, and why is it a dying product? How does it compare with NPS and EPF? See, it is also a defined contribution scheme just like the EPF and the NPS. So the contribution being made yes. both by the employee by and the employer. employer. It could be contributory and uh, e under the EPF 12% and additional 15,000 under superannuation an employer can contribute to an employer sponsored superannuation scheme hmm. and in addition to the contribution made to, to the EPF, EPF and okay. however uh, a couple of years back the perquisite tax was uh, brought in and over and above 100,000 rupees contributed hmm. towards the superannuation becomes a perquisite in the hands of the employer. Is that why it's not very popular Th because now companies will have to pay tax if the contribution is exceeding 1 lakh rupees so they're already contributing to EPF and then if they contribute to a superannuation fund then there's a taxation element. Uh, that is one of the reasons uh, this became uh, unpopular hmm. and the pursued benefits by the employees to have a superannuation benefit is mm -hmm. another thing which is a deterrent to having this uh, scheme being continued. There were a number of companies who have introduced this mm -hmm. and once the perquisite tax came and also in 2013 the regulator had uh, asked the insurers to refile all the uh, pension products and other group products with certain guarantees and that is the time there were no new products available in the market and new members were not allowed to be added in the old members. Mm -hmm. So that was when many companies took a relook at and stopped the con future contributions uh, to the superannuation scheme. Okay. So that's why the number went down there, the uh, paper, uh, and definitely it it had a bearing on the employee's interest in contributing. What about taxation of superannuation funds, uh, especially at the time of redemption or, or withdrawal? How does that work? One third of the accumulated corpus can be withdrawn, which is tax-free on retirement. If it is okay. a resignation or uh, other than retirement, it is taxable. Mm -hmm. And uh, balance two third can be utilized to purchase annuities by so the That's annuity. very similar to the NPS. NPS similar to the NPS, NPS has uh, said, I mean, in the new budget that uh, that yes. has been announced, that you can withdraw up to forty percent without paying any tax. The rest has to go into an annuity, annuity. product. Yes. So okay. that is that is where the encouraging the employees to com compulsorily preserve wealth to the retirement mm -hmm. and also. Uh, create a regular stream of income post retirement. Hmm. The individuals need to visualize today uh, they do get the salary month after month but the regular stream of income stops when they superannuate. And I just wanted to now come to that. Yes. Uh, the point is you might be uh, whether by force or by 
careful thought you are anyway contributing to one of these funds yes. either you're through your company you're contributing yes. to the EPF yes. or perhaps you've been a little more aggressive and proactive and you're contributing to the NPS or maybe a superannuation fund the question is what happens after 58 uh, and then what do you do with this pool of money that has been generated which are the products where you automatically start getting an annuity monthly income in other cases how do you go about buying an annuity product which gives you a monthly income so you have a, you have a lump sum corpus available under gratuity mm -hmm. and the provident fund correct uh, which can be utilized to purchase uh, the individual annuity plan provided by the life insurance companies mm -hmm. or, or, or again the senior citizens pension which is which is uh, provided by the banks which gives a higher returns and which gives a regular stream of monthly income so you, you invest the entire yeah. pool of money yes. uh, with the life insurance company product mm -hmm. or the senior citizens pension scheme okay and what are the benefits so the uh, merits the sim merits sim similar, similar annuity senior citizens pro pension scheme provides higher returns today uh, and uh, the annuities are again uh, just like the superannuation or the NPS annuities hmm. similar annuities are paid under the senior senior citizen scheme so you invest your entire corpus your EPF corpus or whatever other pool of money yes. that you have yes. uh, once you retire yes. into one of these into schemes one of these. and you get monthly income monthly income it. on that at an, and uh, you earn an interest in, uh, a tax free interest of no, around the, 8 to 9 percent no the, uh, it's not tax free the okay. annuities or interest earnings are still taxable of course it's monthly it's income monthly so then, income. then yes, they, they yes, will be yes. tax even annuities under NPS or the superannuation is mm -hmm. taxable it is equal to salary okay Yes. Now, for a superannuation fund or for NPS, uh, do you have to go out and buy a different annuity product or do you automatically start getting annuity after the age of 58? Yeah. For NPS in particular? Under NPS, there are various annuity providers. Mm -hmm. You can choose the annuity providers just like you choose the different fund managers under the NPS. Yeah, at the time you're contributing yes, the to the scheme, contributing, you choose your fund choose manager. Your, choose your fund managers. Yeah. And uh, uh, in the superannuation also, there is a rule that uh, the where, where the company has provided for accumulation of corpus, you will have to buy the annuities through the same insurer. That okay. that is the regulator uh, has uh, mandated mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Whereas under NPS, there are the annuity providers which you can choose from, okay. and the annuity rates, as, as uh, declared from time to time, are available. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll take a very quick break on that. Not on the other side. We have a very special participant joining us on the show. She is a viewer of the show. She has also retired, and now she is thinking about how to plan for her next several years. Stay tuned. We'll get you that case study.